Imagine the biggest machine that mankind has ever built, created to find out the very secrets of the creation of the universe. This machine exists, and it lies 100 meters below the French-Swiss border. I'm talking about the Large Hadron Collider. You may have heard about the Collider on the news recently, about what it does, the benefits of it, and the potential dangers of using it. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about these. Simply put, the Large Hadron Collider is an extremely large particle accelerator. Basically, a particle accelerator is a device that shoots two particle beams around and around in opposite directions, and then collides them together and observes the results. However, the actual event during, with the Large Hadron Collider is much more complicated. Scientists must first strip hydrogen atoms of their electrons and neutrons so that they isolate them and have just protons, the desired element for shooting around at close to the speed of light. These protons are first injected into one and then many other smaller particle accelerators to speed them up before they are put into the Large Hadron Collider, which accelerates their speed and energy for almost 20 minutes before collision time. When this is possible, the protons collide before one of six detectors in the machine where the collision is quantified and qualified. The data from these detectors is then sent to multiple computers all over the world in order to analyze the data gathered from this collision. There has always been much controversy over the Large Hadron Collider, and there has always been opposition to its construction and its use. Some people believe that the smashing of such high-energy particles could create miniature black holes, which could theoretically devour the Earth. While unlikely, no one can say for sure that this will or won't happen, simply because no one has ever experimented on this high of a scale before. Other theories of how the Large Hadron Collider could supposedly destroy the universe include the production of strangelets, matter that would turn the world into a blob of goo, or things like monopoles, which could severe, severely disrupt the Earth's magnetic field. While these downsides to the use of the Large Hadron Collider seem very remote, there are others that are much more real. It costs approximately six billion U.S. dollars for the construction of the Large Hadron Collider, and each year it costs about 30 million more in order for energy costs. Uh, this is a price shared between multiple countries, however, it is, it is still extremely high. This money could be used to spend on what other people say would be better things. So why do scientists continue to pursue such an expensive endeavor? What are the benefits of having particles fly around and smash into each other? Well, humans have always desired to know more. And in the area of physics, knowledge has come to a standstill, simply because we cannot observe subatomic, subatomic reactions and subatomic particles without the uses of machines such as the Large Hadron Collider, currently the only thing we have that can advance our knowledge in physics. There is a widely accepted model called the Standard Model, hence the name, that um, explains how subatomic and atomic reactions work. However, there are certain parts to this, specifically the Higgs-Boson, that have yet to be discovered and discovered and observed, qualified and quantified by scientists. This is one of the things that the Large Hadron Collider is looking for, among many other things. Scientists hope to learn the true properties of dark matter and dark energy, things that supposedly make up 96% of the universe. And they also hope to learn what happened, why the difference between antimatter and matter during the creation of the universe during the Big Bang had not been equal and they had not wiped each other out. Over its lifetime, the Large Hadron Collider will confirm or refute many different theories concerning physics and some other areas of science. The generated data with this will be necessary to create new technologies and further our advancement and knowledge of the world. While the LHC is still controversial and despite many setbacks, it has gone online and has already started to enhance our knowledge of life, the universe, and everything.